There's nothing wrong with any cardio. You should be doing cardio every day, keep that heart strong. But today's video is about this weight rack right here. Five, the 10, the 15, the 20, and the 25. All right, you need to add a little bit of resistance training to your life. This set is about, I don't know, 16 inches wide and a good 13, 14 inches deep. And the height, you know, if that really matters to you, we'll call it about two foot, two inches. This thing doesn't take up much room at all. It sits in the corner and it is, it is perfect. Now you might say, oh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 pounds. That's not a lot. That's not a lot, right? This, you can't, you can't build muscle with that. That's, that's wrong, that's incorrect. Now I'm no sports medicine guy or personal trainer or anything like that, but your muscles don't know weight. Your muscles don't know reps or sets. What they know is time under tension, all right? If you're a big, huge guy and you can, you know, lift these, whatever exercise, a deadlift, a curl, a press, 50 pounds of these 10 times, then lift these 10 pounders 50 times. Seems a little overkill, sure, but time under tension is how you grow muscle. Resistance training is how you grow muscle. And the cool thing about free weights like this and a nice open space, hopefully padded, there's an infinite amount of exercises you can do for your whole entire body. Push exercises, pull exercises, leg exercises, ab exercises. You can do overhead press, you can do bent over rows, you can do leg stuff, squats, deadlifts. And once you outdo this weight, if you really feel like you need more, there's plenty of other options out there to add to this little rack. What I really like about these is the handles are round. Some of the handles on the dumbbells out there, they're, uh, they're square or they're octagonal. These are round. So it actually, there, there's no wrong way to grip it. The barbells at my gym, there's a, you have to grip it just right because the grip is like octagonal. This did take a little bit to put together, but it's very sturdy, very heavy duty. It's not going anywhere. Keep an eye on kids playing around this, of course. I've dropped these from six foot high and they just bounce. Obviously not on the hardwood floor, but on the rubber mats. Add these to your collection, throw them in a closet, throw them in your basement. You need a little bit of resistance training in your life.